All right, in this video, I'm going to quickly go through the topic of Y delta transformations. Sometimes resistors aren't in parallel or series. In this case, uh, these types of circuits can often be simplified to three terminal equivalent networks. And the two primary types are the Y or T. Uh, you could see that I could redraw a Y into a T. Um, or the delta or pi. And um, you can see in uh, the left hand side here I show what a Y network looks like there are three resistors R1, R2, and R3 there are really three terminals because terminal 2 and terminal 4 are the same similarly for a delta um, I have three resistors uh, and really three terminals because terminals 2 and 4 are the same so to transform from one to the other which is sometimes useful because uh, it makes um, circuit uh, calculations a little easier we can uh, apply a few equations. So from delta to y, I would take that R1 is equal to RBRC over the sum of RA plus RB plus RC. Um, and you can read here what the other relationships are. For y to delta, on the other hand, uh, we're going to take the product of all possible uh, y resistors, R1, R2 plus R2, R3, plus R3, R1, and divide it by uh, R, well, divide it by the resistor, uh, in this case R1. I'll show you in a little bit uh, how that helps. Um, so you can look at these relationships here, uh, and this is really uh, as simple as it is. Now, to help you understand a little better, what we can do is formulate it as uh, by putting the two things superimposed uh, on each other. So, for example, in this uh, y to delta, if I want Ra, what I'm going to do is take the pro all possible products of two resistors in of y taken one at a time uh, and sum together, and then I'm going to divide by the resistor which is across from it. So in this case, R1. So Rb I would divide by R2. Rc I would divide by R3. On the other hand, uh, to go the other way, uh, the ones that I'm going to uh, multiply together on top are the resistors, R so for R1 it's Rb times Rc, they're the resistors that touch, so it's going to be R1 is going to be Rb, Rc divided by the sum of all of the Y resistors. A Delta or Y network is balanced when all of the, their resistors are equal, so R1 equals R2 equals R3, which is equal to RY, or RBA, or RA is equal to RB is equal to RC, which equals R delta. In this case, RY is equal to R delta over 3, and R delta is equal to 3 RY. So, as an example, what we'll do is convert this delta to Y and uh, then draw it at the end. You'll see uh, all I'm going to do is apply those expressions up there. So R1 should be RBRC over the sum of RA plus RB plus RC, uh, which should be 8 over 8, which is 1 ohm. R2, similarly, should be uh, RC times RA over that sum. So 8 over 8 again, that's 1 ohm. R3 should be equal to RA, RB over the sum. Uh, so that's uh, 4 over 8, which is 1 half of an ohm. And uh, when I redraw it, it's going to look like this. Again, this comes directly from the formulation I had up here where R1, R2, R3 are positioned in this way, corresponding to RA, RB, and RC. And that's uh, really all that you need to know uh, for basic understanding of uh, delta and Y conversions in circuits.